For more than 115 years, Farmers Bank has operated with a simple mission. Helping our neighbors and friends find financial solutions that best fit their life. And it's our tireless commitment to this mission that has fueled our steady growth throughout our long history. Of course, any good story has a beginning. Here's ours. The Farmers Bank and Trust story starts back in 1906 when it was chartered in Magnolia, Arkansas with T. Samuel Grayson and Robert Warnick, who was elected president. Grandpapa Warnock was in a bank on the square, but the bank wasn't very progressive. It just took your money and that's all. Grandpapa saw the cotton uh, farmers that brought in the cotton on the square and sold the cotton there. He saw all that. And my other granddaddy, T.S. Grayson, was a sawmiller, and he saw that people had to have mules to make a living, but you had to borrow the money sometimes. And so that's why it's called Farmer's Bank, because it was to help them. Over the next 100 plus years, we welcomed an ever-growing number of customers who appreciated having a safe, knowledgeable, and approachable financial expert right in their community. I think the tradition carried on all through the years, certainly during the Depression when Farmers for two or three years was the only bank that was open. And then when Bob Burns came to Farmers Bank and he encouraged people who worked at the bank to be involved in community activities and support the community, not only in banking service, but in personal service and community service. Farmers Bank and Trust expanded throughout South Arkansas and into Eastern Texas, earning a reputation for making customers its highest priority. The purchase of First Bank, that kicked us over a billion and made us, uh, you know, kind of a real uh, financial institution. Right around that time, we implemented our core values, HEART, uh, which stands for Honor, Excellence, Adaptability, uh, Respect, and Teamwork. We wrote all of our values and beliefs that we've lived for uh, 115 years uh, on paper. Implementing that uh, into the culture to live by has, was a pretty large event. With every milestone and through all the growth, Farmers Bank and Trust has remained a community bank. Throughout its history, Farmers has been much more than just a bank. It's made first homes and dream homes possible, put new cars in garages, made the golden years truly golden, taken great ideas and helped them become successful small businesses and not so small businesses. And true to our name, Farmers has helped those who grow for a living grow even more. These customers are from all walks of life at all stages of life, but they all have one thing in common. Farmers Bank and Trust can be known as bankers with heart. Honor stands for your reputation in the community. That, that's an employee of Farmers Bank and they meet the standards that we set. Excellence is uh, the fact that we will never stop pushing to find a better way to do something or to uh, grow bigger, serve more communities. The world is ever changing. It's always evolving. We will adapt rather than saying, this is the way we've always done it. We are a team. Jobs may be different, but we will have respect for each other. Well, respect rolls right into teamwork. You're all working towards one goal. Uh, so that teamwork is what we ask. Honor, excellence, adaptability, respect, and teamwork. They aren't a new catchphrase that was created in a focus group. They're a foundational part of the farmer's culture and way of doing business. 
yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Growth has always meant bringing customer-focused banking to even more people in more communities. I think farmers growing across South Arkansas has been good because I always knew that we had a wonderful feeling about the community and I'm glad to see us have the opportunity to share that with Camden and Hope and Malvern and Texarkana and over in Texas. And Farmers is always looking for the latest ways to make banking even better. We have customers from, um, you know, very small town uh, community customers all the way to uh, very large institutions. So we have to have the tools for the whole gamut. And we've learned over the years, the relationship is the most important thing with every one of them. That is uh, what keeps them coming back because when they call, we're going to answer and we, we will have an answer. Technology in the bank has, has brought about a lot of change and, and change in way people do their banking. And I think the one that made the most impression on me was when we went to bill pay and when we went to going on the internet and just punching a few buttons and have paid your bills without a stamp. I worked on that because uh, Bob thought it needed a consumer touch. We had a committee of ladies to talk about, can you do this, would you do this? We decided that maybe we wouldn't miss putting stamps on, but we would miss getting to go to town and see what's going on and delivering our bills. So we, we decided we could go to town anyway. It leads back to our mission statement, friends and neighbors helping each other find financial solutions for a lifetime. We are uh, constantly evolving. Uh, every day we have a staff that looks at what technologies are, are changing, what is coming down the pipe. We utilize every tool uh, to keep up with the changes in our, our environment and we've always treated our customers like family. I'm a fifth generation employee. My great, great grandfathers, uh, Mr. Warnick and Mr. Grayson started the bank 115 years ago. I can remember as a small child running behind the teller line and sneaking suckers out of the teller windows. And so it, it really, it pulls life full circle when you see as an adult coming back and being able to make a difference in, in, within the organization. We set up the Farmers Bank Foundation to allow us a platform to enrich the communities where we have markets. Like if a city has a need, then we can support the fire departments, the first responders, the veterans in the community. And because we're privately owned, our foundation is completely different because our purpose is not just to give them money, but to give them tools to enrich them moving forward. We believe in our model. Uh, we believe in helping communities. So as we move forward into the future, we want to grow and reach out to the communities to show them how we are an asset. If Mr. Warnick and Mr. Grayson walked in Farmers Bank today, I think their eyes would fill with tears and their hearts would be full of joy to see what Farmers Bank's capacity has come to. They just started this bank to help farmers and to help small businesses just in the small town of Magnolia. Today and moving forward, we're supporting the same vision so that our customers can be successful in their own visions. Whether it's the early 1900s, the 2020s, or any time in the future, Farmers Bank & Trust is always here to serve customers with financial products that meet their needs and exceed their expectations. It's the heart of who we are and how we serve. <laughs>